Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's your number one fat agent coming to you today with another one of these, I guess, um, instructional videos? It's like a PSA. But I've been harping on it, I've been chirping on it, I've been trying to preach to the career mode community that if you want to play career mode this year, you should be playing it on the PC. I was inspired to make this video after watching Near and shout out to you, homeboy. And I realized something, and that is that almost all of our top complaints about what's stupid about career mode on console can be fixed on the PC version. So today, I'm gonna give you the top 10 things that annoy us in career mode that can be fixed on the PC version. Before we get started, go ahead, smush your nipple into that like button, helps me out on the algorithm. But without further ado, let's get into it with number 10. And I must say that all these are not in any particular order, but the first one I'm gonna start off is the main complaint that we have talked about throughout the entirety of this year, and that is they gave us only four save slots in career mode, why? Way back in the day, we had like 12, then they put it down to 10, then it was down to eight, and then for no reason this year, they put us down to four. They said that it was a mistake and that they were gonna fix it in a patch. It's fr it's almost 2019. So the only thing that I can think of is they just don't want you playing that much career mode, but on the PC version, you can fix this. In fact, I you can pretty much have as many save slots as you want. So first off, as you can see by default, it says we only have four save slots right here. But if you wanna get more than four save slots, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is go into the settings folder of your FIFA 19 program. So you go into your PC or your computer, documents, FIFA 19 and settings. In here, you're gonna find multiple files and what you wanna look for are the ones that start with career. Now if they start with career and they end with a capital A, that means it's an autosave. You don't wanna to touch those. What you wanna find is one of these right here, career, and then it's a bunch of numbers and it doesn't have an A at the end. What you're gonna do right here is you're going to copy and then you're just gonna paste. You can paste like two to three. Let's go ahead and paste three right here, okay? So I pasted three copies. You can see copy, copy two, copy three. Now we're gonna hop back into the game and you can see we're back on the four save slots. We're gonna hop back out and then we're gonna hop in again to save. And there you go, as you can see we cloned these, uh, we cloned stream, and now you could just use these as your own custom save. So you don't necessarily need those anymore. So I'm just gonna name it finally patched. Kappa. Hit okay. Boom shakalaka. And you theoretically, I don't know if there's an actual limit <laughs> onto how many of these save files I could do. Let me see. Let me see how many I could do without crashing the game. <laughs> All right, we've done it a handful of times. Let's go ahead and check it again. Save slots. Oh, let's take it. Oh, <laughs> look at this, boys. Look at that, bro. This took me half a second. We have 37, 37 save slots. And you're telling me EA can't patch this? Oh, yeah, it's just taking up too much data, guys. We, we couldn't fit it in. You could, you know, you're just going to have to work with four save slots. This is a joke. Pretty much as many save slots as you want. I don't think anybody's gonna need 37 save slots, so yeah. All right, moving on to number nine of annoying things in Karibo that you can fix on the PC version, and that is age degradation. I say that right? Degradation. Listen, we all know that this has been an issue in career mode for quite a while now, and that is older players disintegrate after the first season because of rapid, rapid stat destruction. And what this effectively does is great players, the best players in the game, the Lino Messi's, the Cristiano Ronaldo's, are effectively rendered useless and not worth the hundreds of millions of dollars that you would have to pay to get them, because beyond that first season, they're gonna be a hollowed husk of themselves. And since Cristiano Ronaldo recently transferred over to Juventus, you can't even get him until the second season. So he's he's useless unless you're using Juventus right out of the gate. So case in point, I've seen to the end of the season, June of 2019. Let's go ahead and take a look at the squad. I have placed both Ronaldo and Messi on the same Barcelona squad. Chill Barcelona fanboys, this is just for the experiment, okay? As you can see, Cristiano Ronaldo has only gone down by three. It's not all too bad. If you look at his attributes, here's the big thing though. Look at the physicals. Negative 10 in sprint speed, he went from 9 91 pace to 81 pace in one season and then negative seven in acceleration you've massively massively nerfed the enjoyment of using this guy we go over to Lionel Messi who's 31 he's only gone down by plus one maybe it's not too bad oh 
yeah, yeah, yeah. His sprint speed is now negative six. So by the end of one season, he's only 80 sprint speed, man. And once they hit that 30 mark, they just fall right off of a cliff. I mean, starting next season, he's going to be below. He's going to be in the 70s in his sprint speed. But you can stop this from happening via using the cheat engine. Yes, this is technically a mod, but still on the PC version, they allow you to do this. So why wouldn't you? And it's fairly simple. Through the cheat engine, you can go ahead and select Cristiano Ronaldo. You can see that his player info. And then all the way down here is his birthday. So I go over to his birthday and I'm going to change it to 1505.78. Now, why did I change it to that specific date? Well, that's because I earlier looked up Sergi Samper's birthday and he's around 23 years of age. So that's the age that I want to make Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm going to go hit OK. I'm going to hit the X on this. And then when you come back into Squad Hub, boom, you can see that Cristiano Ronaldo's age is now 23 years of age. Let's do the same thing with Messi. And boom, there you go. He's 23 years of age. Obviously, if you want it to be a little bit more realistic, you can make him 28 years old, you know, 27 years old. The main point is if you keep their potentials at 94 they won't grow any higher but the biggest thing is they won't lose stats over the course of the season so now we're in june of 2019 with the new age ronaldo and messi and let's go ahead and check on them that is very strange apparently <laughs> might have glitched the game because he went down by one but as you can see in all of his stats he's actually grown a little bit but with messi it worked to perfection he started at 94 it's the end of the season and he stayed at a 94 and none of his stats has changed so if you want to play with old players in their prime and have them stay in their prime, like Lionel Messi, like Cristiano Ronaldo, then you can go ahead and do this. Maybe make it a little bit more realistic. Don't make him 24 years of age. I like 27, 26. All right, moving on to number eight, and that is finding a solution to the super congested fixtures that happen all the time in career mode. We've all had this happen to us in career mode, and that is just at some point of the season, there is just an insane series of games back to back to back. So look at this for a example we got Sevilla and then three days later we have a Champions League match up against Inter two days later up against our arch rivals at Real Madrid three days later we have Villarreal oh that's not bad enough let's go ahead and check out next month into November two days later we have another match up against Villacano then two days after that we have Inter and you know four days Ooh, an all-time high four days until we have another league match that is absolute insanity. Not even a team as deep as Barcelona can handle this many matches that rapidly. Even if somehow by the gods you're able to avoid injuries uh, and red card suspensions, your stamina is going to be so freaking drained throughout that period that you're more likely to get injured. And for you guys who have ever played career mode, if you go into a match where the majority of your guys are already tired, it doesn't matter how bad the team you are going up against, it always feels like you're playing at a disadvantage. But on the PC version, the there is somewhat of a workaround and that is the sim match settings on the cheat engine now you do have to activate it before you load into the career mode save but what it does is it ensures to you that you will get no cards you will get no injuries and the most important thing is you do not lose any stamina <laughs> if the game is going to f you then you should f the game back now you might say okay that's a little bit too much cheating you can keep injuries off you can keep cards on. So that can still happen. But what this does allow you to do is go ahead, play your people, and have them on full stamps. So you could sim past this Sevilla game. And boom, we check our first team, completely fine. Full stamina. You can keep on going. And then you could risk it for the biscuit over here because Inter is not going to be as strong as Real Madrid. So you go ahead, you could sim past Inter. Boom, you can go in, take a look at your squad. And as you can see, at full stam, go ahead, play up against Real Madrid. Get that going. Probably sim in the Copa de España into the next one. You could sim this match up against the Liga Santander. And then give it your all in the group stage up against Inter again. It's not a foolproof solution, but it is a rather nice workaround to a super annoying problem that I know a lot of you guys at Career Mode run into. Now moving on to number seven is something that was added to Career Mode a couple of years ago that was supposed to be an enhancement, but overall it is just kind of annoying and that is the global transfer network. In theory, this was supposed to be more immersive. You send out scouts to various different regions and then uh, after a certain amount of time, you would get their 
scouting reports back. But effectively what this did was just made the whole entire process of transfers way more annoying. In FIFA 10 and FIFA 12, you could just go ahead and if you searched up a player, you could see how much they were worth and their exact stats on the page. Once again, it's another one of these scripts that you can activate in the cheat engine. You're gonna go into a global transfer network and you have to activate it before you load into your career mode save. And then you go ahead and click on this, reveal player data, scouting players not needed. Thank you, the Lord. So now that you go ahead and you search for certain players, no need to look at all that. Beautiful. 83 overall for, with 42 million. And you can see all of us at. And then how about, how about Barco? Everybody loves Barco. Let's see how he's doing over. Okay. All right. 73 and he's worth 10 million. I like it. I like it. No more wasting time in game waiting weeks to go ahead and learn the true values of these players and what their stats are actually get. Now at number six, this is one of the most annoying things that we've had to deal with since it seems like the genesis of career mode and that is the morale system for your players. We've all gotten this type of email and that's a bench player saying, oh yeah, I know I'm not a major player at this club, but I think I should be getting more play time. Shut the up. And what's annoying is it's not based on reality. You could play them in every single match, but the one game, the one game that they request and you don't play them in, and then all of a sudden they get all butt hurt. And then they all pouty about it. Oh, look at his morale. I'm unhappy. Ooh. And what sucks about it is the morale can actually affect their form and how they play on the pitch, as well as in worst case scenarios, they get so unhappy that they force a transfer off of your club. But thank you to the holy cheat engine, we can go ahead and stop this nonsense. You can see it right here in the scripts and there's morale. Go ahead and click on that. And you could just do this, disable morale altogether so you get no more of this nonsense. Or you could do this, morale levels happier. And once you click those on, disable morale, or you have morale levels or higher in general, just leave that on for the rest of the game. And you are rid of one of the most annoying emails that you can get in FIFA career mode. And then number five is a way to go ahead and ignore the just super annoying board expectations. Listen, I'm killing it as Barcelona manager over here. I already got Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo in their prime and they're gonna stay in their prime the whole entire way through. I'm first in our group standings for Champions League. And yes, I might be second in the league, but we're still second in the league. It's not all too bad. So why is my manager rating at a putrid 76? It's because I'm not listening to the board and what they want me to do. But why should I listen to the board and what they want to do? These are just arbitrary things that the AI comes up with that you have to do. And all it does is limit how you want to play the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my game and then I'm going to exit out. And once again, we're going to go into our beloved cheat engine. We're going to go over to manager. We're going to go ahead, click this, activate before we go in. And then we're going to go ahead to manager rating and we're going to put that bitch on 99. And then we go back into career mode and you can see that I'm still at a 76. Let's sim a bit more. Boom shakalaka. And then we're going to go click in, click back out. Boom. 99 the greatest goddamn manager on planet earth. But now you don't have to listen to the annoying board objective. You're welcome, career mode community. And another huge issue that you can fix on the PC version is the race bending in the Youth Academy. For you guys who are unfamiliar, there is a phenomenon this year that makes it so that a lot of the countries that you scout in do not bring back necessarily the ethnicity that you would theoretically think. So we're scouting in China and as you can see there's a guy named Kang Dong who's quite ginger and then we have a guy named Bang Wang who is blue-eyed and blonde. You could see where this might be an issue. And if we get this Bing De Zhao guy, we pro promote him to the senior team. You can see that he does not exactly look all too Chinese. So we go into the cheat engine, we go into the player database and into player tables. And you can see right here, we're locking in on this guy's code. And then we go to appearance and you can see head type code right here. And it's listed as 1518. We have looked up an Asian player's face and that code is 535. Five. We're gonna go ahead, give him that code, enter that, and then we're gonna back out, we're gonna go back in, and there you go! He looks, he looks substantially more Asian. So it is a little bit more time consuming, but what we did is we signed up another youth player, this Anyan Zhang, who actually looks Asian, and then we looked up his code, and then we did facial reconstructive surgery 
on our white looking Chinaman and now he actually looks his real ethnicity. It's a time consuming process, but it does solve the race bending issues in the Youth Academy. Another annoying function of the Youth Academy in career mode is that you can only promote players to the senior team once they reach the age of 17, which kind of sucks when you got a guy like this, Bing Wen Du, who's 16 years of age and has the potential of 84 to 94 obviously i'm gonna sign this guy up but i can't get him in and i can't play him i want to start growing him right away i want to give him play time but now with the cheat engine scripts as you can see right here you go into the youth academy and you, you have to activate it before you load in but you can put that the minimum age for promotion is 12 years old so you gotta have a 12 year old uh, in your team. So now you can see that once we're back in, Bing Windu, 16 years of age, and An Yang Zhang, who is 15 years of age, can both be promoted into the senior team and you can start using them right away. And next up on the helpful list is the ability to have unlimited releases. Yes, in Cheat Engine, you go ahead and click on this. It's just, you know, free and unlimited releasing players, and that's exactly how it sounds. And the older favorites, you could get around this because you could just release three players, save the game, log out come back in and then you could keep on releasing multiple players but they patched it in this game i'm telling you everything they've done that are changes to this year's career mode has just been detrimental but with this type of mod you can go ahead and release as many people as you like and it's free and it's great let's see as you can see one two three and what's even more magical about it if i want to release every single one of my goalkeepers I can. That used to be a thing where it's like, bro, you, you you can't do that. Where we you gotta have a minimum amount of goalkeepers. No. If I want to release every single person on my team, I, I'm goddamn well pleased. And this is really big for people who like to do the youth academy only type route. You'll watch people like Cutsy. You watch people like Sparring DK. They don't like to have any real players on their team. They want completely everyone through the youth academy. So for them, this is a godsend. All right, and the last thing that I'm going to show you is this annoying rule in which if a player gets transferred somewhere, you cannot attempt to go ahead and buy them until a full year after, which is not always realistic. So Axel Whistle went over to Bristol Dortmund this year, and if you try to approach to buy him, he says, okay, the club has recently acquired this player, and they aren't looking to negotiate. Super annoying. And in the case of Cristiano Ronaldo, this would be the same, but he's already on this club. But all we do is we go into our handy-dandy cheat engine you go over to click the transfer hub and you don't even need to uh, load this up before it starts you just hit allow transfer approach hit that x go back into the game right here this is in real time approach hello axel wixel how are you all of a sudden it seems like we can go ahead and bring you in the whole point is that you could go ahead and grab any player in the game despite them being maybe a one club player or just having unreasonable, like, oh, he's too valuable to us. We can't even let you talk to him, like bullshit. So yeah, that is 10 annoying things in career mode that you can go ahead and fix in the PC version of the game. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, go ahead, smush your nipple into that like button. And of course, there are a whole bunch of other things that you can go ahead and do and mod in the PC version of career mode. As you can see on screen, you can actually get icons and use them in career mode. If you'd like to see a video on that, go ahead and click over here, dingsy poos. And I know I go ahead and talk about the cheat engine a lot and it is a little bit intimidating at first, but I want to link to this man over here and that is UC Nerd and he has great tutorials to go ahead and get you started on that as well. But yeah, that's it for me, be modest. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself, stay humble. Until next time, stay thick.